ready to the mean streets of the Windy City, Chicago. Where the only places for trucks to park is, well, the shoulders of the road. Gonna be spending my day delivering to three of these places, Jet Row Cash and Carry, which are now Restaurant Depot. I can't wait. It's actually not too bad. Doing this, you know, after the morning commute, I was able to buzz in here pretty fast. And I'm like two hours early, and that means I'm gonna be about five hours early to my next one, and then probably an hour or so early to the last one. That's great. And then tomorrow, picking back up, heading back south to Florida, check on my homestead, and how to see how everybody's doing before the big hurricane hits on Sunday. I gotta batten down the hatches. I didn't do that when I left. Yeah, some of these streets are definitely not made for trucks because of the turns. They, they built these streets at weird angles. Yeah, definitely not truck friendly. Not only that, you gotta be aware of the bridges and overpasses. Like, it looks like I'm going to cross a river here, and that bridge... Oh, no, that truck just came underneath it. Looks like I can go underneath that bridge. It's a drawbridge. That's what it looks like. Great. A bottleneck. And I'm blocking traffic. I don't mind bottling up and blocking traffic as long as I can fit under things. This looks like it might be a close fit. really hoping they don't decide to raise this thing. Okay, here we go. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It looks like we did it with inches to spare. Inches to spare. Go back to sleep. Finally, back up to speed on the open. What? Oh, great. Just great. I was ready to roll. Oh, the funness of sitting in city traffic. Yeah, this never gets old. Yeah, the great thing about sitting in traffic, gives you a chance to see the sights. And what a sight that is. It's glorious, glorious. And I thought Star Wars Galaxy's Edge was impressive. But no, this definitely has a beat. Well, I made it over here to my second spot, but they're not going to get to me today. Looks like I'm going to be spending the night right here. Boy, it's windy. Finally, it's feeling like the windy city and noisy. Got my generator going. So I'm just going to pull over here on the side of this little road right here. Figure out to spend the night right here. There is some construction equipment in the road. Are on the side of the road so I'm sure this is a pretty good place to park I don't think anybody else is gonna be parking here only problem is there's gonna be a lot of road noise tonight I mean it ain't gonna matter I got my generator running but let, let's say it was a little bit cooler outside that road noise would probably bother you 
I'm only like 15 feet away from the roadside. So far, this has been a pretty busy road. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna sleep right here. What do you think? What do you think? What, what? What do you think about that? Huh? Well, it is morning and I just got unloaded. Yay. But now I'm back in the downtown district of Chicago. But this is great news, guys. This is great, great news. Guess what? Okay, so what's happening is in two days, we're supposed to have a hurricane. Hurricane Darren or Dorian or something hitting Florida. I'm up here in Chicago. My goal is to be back for the hurricane. That, that's my plan. I'm going to pick up a load now and I am going to try and drive nonstop to make it home. Check on Cousin Eddie and the kids. Make sure everything is good to go before the storm starts to hit. I've never had Cousin Eddie during a hurricane before. I'm really hoping that he can withstand the high winds and rain. I just don't think my auto insurance that I have for Cousin Eddie is going to cover hurricane damage. So I'm a little bit worried. I mean, at the moment, that's my home. I'm full-time motorhome living. Thing is, though, I've driven Cousin Eddie at least 65 miles an hour driving down the road. And he withstood those winds, I mean, driving winds. And they always say the driving winds of a hurricane, so I don't know if driving down the road and driving winds of a hurricane are the same thing. Fingers crossed. Okay, this road looks like a dead end. What am I supposed to do? They told me to go down this road, but I don't see where I'm supposed <sighs> I don't even know. I can't go there. I don't, don't know if I can. Can I make that turn? Let's give it a shot. Thirty years of driving, right there. I did it. What makes it kind of difficult is in Chicago. A lot of these warehouses are street loading on loading areas. These buildings are extremely long. And there's probably like 20 businesses within this one building. And you have to find out where you're supposed to go. Sometimes it's not so easy. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Okay, I walked this entire building. I'm all the way down there at the far end of the street. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. They never told me which one of these businesses I was supposed to go into. So what I did is I parked the truck all the way down there, walked all the way down the street and started hitting the doors coming back towards my truck. Went in. Well, what I should have been doing is checking the doors heading down this way because none of these doors have been the ones I'm supposed to go in. I've buzzed and buzzed and talked to people and they go, nope, not this place, not this place. Now I'm walking back to my truck. It's probably gonna be the one that's like 50 feet away from my truck, you watch. That's how, that's how things always work. I'm not kidding, I'm at the very last, well actually the very first place I walked by and never even checked. I parked right there and I bet you this is the door I gotta go in. Well, one of the, wherever the door is. I found the right place. I was on the totally opposite end of the buildings. I couldn't believe that. But good news is they had a Kirog machine in there. I got me some coffee. Now I just gotta wait to get loaded and head to Florida. So today's video may not be that good. And that's okay. It's okay to have a flopper every now and then. But if I make it back for the hurricane, definitely there's gonna be some great content. Especially if I could spend the evening in a category four hurricane 
inside Cousin Eddie. That could be pretty amazing. I'll just set cameras up everywhere. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the guy opening up that trailer door, he's a ninja. Let him get the other door. He's got a headband on, a white ninja headband. You might have to zoom in. I can't zoom with the DJI pocket. So look at that, hanging on the back of his shirt. A real life Caucasian truck driving ninja. That's a ninja move right there. The crouching stealth driver. Well, back out here to the never ending traffic. Sequel to the never ending story. Leave her in there while I attend to my duties at the rest area. It's been a pretty long day. At the moment I am just a little over 700 miles from Orlando, which is my final destination, home. Gonna try and definitely be there sometime mid-Sunday. It's a beautiful evening, about 70 degrees, maybe a little less. I have no idea why all these trucks are idle in their motors. I'm gonna conserve fuel. Just crack the window. Ah, yes. Complete. Deposit completed. Yeah, the bad thing about parking this time of night, it's really hard to find parking. I could not park in the normal spot, so I parked along the shoulder. Hoping I'm leaving enough room for everybody else to at least drive by. Oh, man. I think the cat's going to be extremely happy that we're pretty much stuck here for the rest of the night. You're going to have to get out, of, get out of my seat. Yep, that's about it. That is about it for today's vlog. It's about it for a day of work. Man. Uh, I have no idea what else to say. I'm just tired. It's late. I want to get a couple hours sleep, wake up in the morning, stop in Metropolis, Illinois for lunch, drop some stuff off from Star Wars Galaxy Edge, and then continue on. So my next videos should be getting into the state of Florida and hurricane preparation. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. I need to prepare. Nothing's prepared yet. I need to move the RV in the proper direction so wind doesn't just blow it over or whatever the wind's gonna do. Never been in a motorhome during a hurricane. Been in my truck during a hurricane, but never my motorhome. I think the truck is a lot better built than my 1992 Holiday Rambler. But I think she'll withstand. I think Cousin Eddie, what did I call Cousin Eddie a she? I don't know. But I think it'll withstand it just fine. I just need to turn it a certain direction and ride it out. That's the plan. I'm just gonna ride it out. Anyway guys, I am out of here. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm gonna crash out, get the cat locked up so she'll let me sleep. Otherwise, it's going to be a heck of a night. I love you guys. Peace out, everybody.